Who do you want to see run for president in 2024? Anyone that still has their soul and no interest in selling it. Someone who hasn't been to Epstein's Island would be a good start. Jarl Balgruf the Greater. Some random good person that no one has ever heard. The person who would make the best president probably wouldn't win nor would they want to be president. Edit wow thank you for all the upvotes I've never received this many upvotes or replies from a comment of mine. That Navy SEAL Harvard doctor astronaut guy. Johnny Kim. Although he may be a little busy on the moon. My neighbor Dave is a cool guy. Someone whose age is below a comfortable room temperature. Edit. Fahrenheit guys. Steve from Blue's Clues. He's never let me down before. He also uses critical thinking which is nice. My biggest dream is that I will one day see a president and other politicians that are real middle class people who truly understand the daily lives and struggles 99 of US citizens face. That is how you make America great again have a country that is genuinely about its people. Definitely not Kanye West this time edit all actual political comments can go fuck themselves. The bar is so incredibly low for me at this point. A competent and non-corrupt candidate. Added in response to the general sentiment below, I know it's not likely. Doesn't change that it's who I want to see on the ballot p. Nobody. No one at all. We should take a few years off, see other people for a while. Someone who isn't on the verge of death would be nice. A golden retriever. LeVar Burton from Reading Rainbow. The man in the yellow hat from Curious George you know he'd be good. My wife. She presently works around state, county, and city administrations where we live, and she is such a badass. Fights like hell for the underserved. I love to wind her up and watch her go. Katie Porter and her whiteboard. Well, whoever it is you want, you should be working right now to build a coalition of support for him her. Don't wait until people start declaring they're behind the person you want now, and let them know they have support should they run. A middle class worker cause fuck these rich people. I'm pretty sure that Animal, from the Muppets, would do a better job than the crop of money grabbing asshats we have now. Someone who's younger than 65, that's all I want. My cat Nermil. He's a great little guy. A random family man who went from middle class father to homeless drug user and then got his life back together for the sake of his kids because his ex wife was dying from cancer. He'd know a lot about life and what's needed in the lower parts of society. Plus, he could have that American dream nose to the grindstone to help him in the polls. Plus, everyone loves a comeback story. Can't decide between Kang or Kodos. My mom raised four children by herself. I think she would be a solid candidate. Someone with sanity and empathy. Preferably one who is not a million years old. Weird Al. Someone who understands what it's like to be poor and wants to do something about it. Dolly Parton. I want to see two or three more political parties run in the race. No more this Democrat versus Republican bullshit. Pedro. Dolly Parton. I know she'll probably turn it down because she is humble like that. But think about it. She has brought East Tennessee out of the worst forest fires we have in years, maybe decades. She has not only sent out books to the school-aged children of Sevier County, but it has gone global. She doesn't want anyone to not know how to read like her father did. She's given jobs to thousands of people of Sevier County and to surrounding areas. She legitimately cares for the people. She's funny and plus, she's in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Katie Porter. I don't agree with all of her views but she's probably the most direct and honest politician in the United States currently. Congress and the government in general would function much more like it is intended if we had more Katie Porters in office. Someone without a super PAC. Giant Meteor 2024. Terry Crews. Let's just get it over with. In which country? I'm being cheeky but this isn't American Reddit, we have to specify. Camacho. How about a couple of old white guys for a change? Someone likable and actually intelligent. Someone from the railroad union s that just got fucked. How about quitting with the effing boomers? Someone under 300 years old for a change. No more Trump. No more Biden. Not Pelosi. Or anyone who will be dead by the time their policies take hold. Anybody but Trump and Biden. Someone younger, it's time for new blood. And I'm an old person saying this. John Stewart. Senator Tammy Duckworth. 
veteran of the Iraq War lost both legs in combat. I read her autobiography and believe she has the background and the intelligence we need. Rick Rhymes. Stuff and things, I'll get them done. Josiah Bartlett. Anyone smart enough to be president, is smart enough to not be president. Leslie Nope. Ninety of these ideas are straight up horrifying. I know a lot are jokes, but my god the US is so fucked. John Stewart. I know, I know. But fuck it. No more sitting there and commenting on what's wrong. Go to Washington and slap the bastards into shape. Someone who is mentally stable, doesn't support abolishing the Constitution and can form coherent sentences. Bonus points if they aren't approaching 100 years old. Someone who's actually been a normal person since the turn of the century. No more billionaires or lifetime politicians. Also someone who went to public school. Any functional semi-intelligent adult.